all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today i wanted to do another update on my crystal setup a lot of people have been asking me about it and i do have some videos on it and this is going to be version 5 because every time pearl abyss decides they want to add or change some things around the list has to get updated as well so as we all know recently they added more uh slots the one thing i wish i could do is reorder them and just like drag these little brackets and then move them to different places so i wanted to go over all of them the ones that i use and we'll talk about it so for both pve pvp uh life skills are a work in progress but i mean i'm not super worried about that for now um but yeah recently with the change they added five new slots which opened up a few more things that i uh thought I could add and you know a few things I changed around as well with the new like crystals and you know artifacts by the way I actually got one of the new artifacts while grinding we're almost done I think we need about like 25 more embers until we could enhance the shoes and then you guys can watch that video but anyway uh off topic let's start from up to the top to the bottom and I wish I could just reorder it so it's gonna be a little bit out of order, but excuse that. So, for PvE damage, um, for the most part, it's just full damage. And what's going to be different from between the other PvEs is slightly different, but for the most part, the same. Uh, back in the day, before Ultimates came out with Land of the Morning Light, uh, Macalods weren't really worth using, so you had to use like accuracy and everything. And with the changes they have made in the past few weeks and the upcoming changes to high-end grind spots um some of the accuracy may or may not be as needed but this one is pretty much just uh capping out or getting as high ap on your sheet as you can and when i say that i mean if you're looking at your stats right over here you basically look at your ap whether you're main or awakening and then your ap against monsters keep in mind when you're full buff the number goes up as well and depending on what crystals and everything so just keep that in mind you look at this and then your ap so it's like 900 to a thousand something and then yeah so that's when i say full damage this is what i mean so what i have here is uh four macalods which is a lot of your damage your pve crystals and straight up more ap and then sometimes i switch this one out because this is one that's uh, a little bit more of a PvP crystal, but um, if you need accuracy, then you would swap this one out for like a Viper or literally anything that gives you accuracy. More damage. I personally think crit damage is a little bit higher than the back attack one, but it's very situational depending on what you're doing. Some places it's harder to get back attack, so you just do crit. And then your PvE, uh, Rebellious, and the gear in. Um, if you don't have a gear in, I understand that well, this one is hard to get. Uh, just swap it out for, like, I don't know, another... I forgot what they're called. It's like one of those power crystals. So let me just show you what where it would be if you want to get one yourself. I believe it is this thing. The reason why these are good is they just give 5 AP, and there's no limit to how many of these you can use. So if you're missing a slot and you just need more AP, just get as many of these to fill up your slots as you can. So that's that. Um, so this is primarily the one I use, um, especially if I'm at the higher end areas where I'm just trying to push as much AP as I can. And this is generally the way to go. This one is the PVE speed one. And basically what we're trading off is a little bit of AP over here. To get the extra attack and casting speed and this one i swap out for the back attack so occasionally i use this one for bossing so the land of the morning light bosses and sometimes back attack is a little bit better and i guess the ap one they're not bad but i do value the attack and cast speed because um like time is a thing when you're doing land of the morning light bosses so i figured that's good and then a little bit of extra evasion and damage reduction. So this does help a little bit with the bossing side of everything. But for the most part, it's basically the same. Um, next, we have the accuracy one. So this one was used a little bit more for high-end grind spots where accuracy matters. Like um, 
Tungrad Ruins, City of the Dead, uh, Crypt of Resting Thoughts, which they have been tweaking for a couple months now. And so they've made a lot of changes. So accuracy is a little bit more important. So that's why you have the accuracy in, over here. Whereas over here you had crit damage, but it doesn't give accuracy. So we wanted back attacks and um, gives accuracy here. Elkars, uh, one Viper, and basically everything else for that. But I also wanted to make sure that I am still maintaining enough damage. And this is, for the most part, you're trading off a little bit of uh, damage for accuracy, but still pretty high up there. Next, we have the straight up full XP one. I don't really use this one as much compared to like when I'm actually grinding. But this is one of those things where like if you use the target or the training dummy overnight and you just want max XP, you put this one on because like half of these don't even matter if you're AFK on a dummy for 24 hours or something. And uh, yeah, you just want the maximum. You get these from seasonals and you just get more every time. So that's good. Life skills, work in progress. I think what I'm going to be changing some of these for is like if I'm doing cooking mastery or alchemy and or just other things in general. So this one is my gathering one. It's a work in progress. I've once again still lazy. Um, this is the PvP damage. Uh, keep in mind some of these are uncapped. And I guess, I mean, they work in cap too, but it's just not going to be as effective. Uh, but we'll talk about that cap PvP later. So this is the one where I use more in Red Battlefield because it's just straight glass cannon and a lot of damage while still having enough accuracy to be able to like actually hit people. So double vipers over here, um, the PVP crystals, the Lucas, uh, special evasion is the thing that's different. The new L cars. Uh, by the way, if you don't have the visionary L cars now and you just have the regular ones, it's okay. Uh, these are just best in slot, but one is like 60 mil and one is like 1 billion. So just keep that in mind. The accuracy difference is, let's see, where is it? Um, I know I have one. Let me. Okay, yeah, so these are the regular ones. So these are 12 accuracy and these are 20. So like 8 times 2 is 16. It is nice to have, but just keep in mind that the difference is like almost 2 billion so if you're an end not an end game player don't worry about this as much and then yeah so what we have here is double vipers which is you know a lot of this is human damage like human damage here um an additional human damage here um more human damage and ap and more human damage so basically we're stacking it for like rbf where things are uncapped and that's what we want for the most part so yeah, that's really what it's all about. But keep in mind, you're a glass cannon with this one. So if you're expecting to dive in, get like 15 kills and survive it, you, that's not happening. Um, this is the PVE defense or PVP defense. Sorry. Um, so we have four whom's and these are actually really good. And the idea of this is to be as defensive as possible while still being able to dish out a little bit of damage. And so basically defensive. Uh, crystals over here um, if you're doing any sort of pvp you should have special evasion crystals and ideally Jin is the best one and you still need accuracy to actually hit people in pvp especially evasion players um uh depends on what your class is some of them it might be a little tough keep in mind this one doesn't do as much damage it, you'll do damage but it's not a lot but you also won't get blown up in like two hits um, so we also have a little bit of resistances and the frozen bitterness is just more defensive and, uh, purple crystals. So actually I got these all like the first week or two of when the land of warning light came out and these circle crystals, uh, all three of them realistically, uh, the Girin is a PVE one and it's still sold out. The purple and red ones, you can actually just buy off the market now. So, like, eh, the price actually went down. I'm surprised uh, the purple ones are not max price. But I guess more people, at least on NA, like to have full damage builds. So if you were, are playing a defensive one, um, then, you know, purple is the way to go. 
This one is the standard accuracy build that I use. Uh, it's a mix of damage and accuracy. Um, and a little bit, it's not really defenses, but like your goal is to uh, be able to hit your targets and do a decent amount of damage. And then the survivability comes in with uh, how good you know, or like how well you know how to play your class. So basically accuracy over here, accuracy over here, um, resistances and more damage. I think this is the setup that you'll see most people using. And this is, I think, more used in like higher end PvP or open world. If I guess like you do duel for spot or something. Um, so I think this is the setup that you'll see most people using. And I, I don't really know how I feel about this red crystal, but it is like a mix of everything whereas there's no direct pvp crystal so it is a it is better than the purple one in terms of this specific build but i think in a lot of cases if you're playing defensive then purple is the way to go but it's really situational and then you would swap out like just anything else so this is what i have resistances are personal preference i personally think that if you get knocked down, it's over. Um, I, you can survive a stiffen, stiff, sometimes a float. But if you get knocked down, that's like the longest CC. And that's just the worst one. So I personally uh, like having two adamantines for knockdown resist. And stun stiffness freezing is just a bonus on the side. Uh, this is my PBE defense one. I personally use this for testing new spots. So like when I first went into like olins and crypt of resting thoughts and everything just did a lot of damage uh, i use this one and then once you can grind things efficiently and you know how to avoid the certain big attacks of wherever grind spot you're using or going to uh, that's when you swap to your like full damage or your speed depending on where you're at so this one is more of just like a test to make sure i'm not getting one shotted and if i lose a crystal it's not like the end of the world i mean i these overlap crystals but this is more just like testing. I remember using this one when Dekia Ash Forest first came out. I had like what? Almost not. At least 8,000 health. I don't know if it was 9,000. But yeah, man, I just got like 8,000 to zero when I used this at Dekia and then they toned it down. But yeah, this is why we use it in any other spots. Um, This is my resistance one. I really use this in pve because um there are certain places where you do want like knockdown resistance and everything but it's more for the pve side whereas like resistances for this one this is defensive and this one is resistances kind of thing so i think i use this very specifically at Ash Forest, because when the Volcarus comes out and it swings on you, and then if that knocks you down, you don't want that. That's not good. And then Crypt of Resting Thoughts, and sometimes like the higher end spots, but more if you know exactly what you're getting hit by and you just can't avoid like big ones. So very sp situational, but this is PvE as well. This is my evasion build. Um, admittedly, I don't use it as often because uh, Dark Knight is not evasion. But basically, this is the PvE evasion build. And we have defenses, more defenses, accuracy, special evasion, more accuracy, defense. And the difference between like the, all of these, like the PvP damage and defense one, is these have two Vipers for accuracy. Whereas the evasion one is... Um, a little bit of more evasion which so we have two harpias here and that's why i use it and if you think you need like more evasion i'm sure you can put other things on there but accuracy is a mix as well and double frozen bitterness is really nice to have and then that's it uh this is cap pvp so when i do certain node wars uh sometimes it switch things up but for the most part it's kind of like a mixed bag of all of them. It depends on what tier of node war you're doing, but generally uh, HP is a lot more valuable in capped because that one, like, 
it's it's different. So either way, what you're going to want is capping out your accuracy, which is, I think, the one that is probably going to be the hardest for most people, unless you're a class with high accuracy. So I guess it depends like it. The way you would look at it is if you node war information a region and then you see these like this is I guess it depends what you, tier you're doing. But yeah, so if you're doing something and then you want to cap out your resistances or your accuracy and your accuracy limit and all that stuff. So basically green is how you know you're over capped and then red is what you're not over capped in. So just look at the region on whatever you're doing and adjust accordingly. So that's what I would recommend to you. Um, this one gets changed around a lot, I guess, depending on what I'm doing. But yeah, so I just value like resistances are always nice to have. Um, obviously, capping out your accuracy in any tier is high priority. And then making sure your AP is, uh, of course, capped. So once again, the way you do this is go to Node War Information at the top over here. And then whatever region you're doing, I guess it doesn't really matter. Just pick one. Like if you're doing tier ones, obviously the accuracy rate is a lot lower. And then so is the AP. Whereas if you're doing like a uh, tier two, tier three, tier four, you might want to raise your evasion a little bit higher. And your accuracy also has to be higher. And so do your resistances. So yeah, just check what tier it is and what you're doing and then change those uh, crystals accordingly. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's all the presets I have and the rest of them are probably going to be either very specific grind spots or life skills. And that's about it. I wish I could have reordered these without having to remove all the crystals and do it again. So apologies for that. Maybe one day I'll put a, some feedback in the partner discord and be like, hey, can we uh, ah, just quality of life change these up and down? But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you do need help with your crystal setup and you need like any extra guidance, I have a Discord channel that you guys can join somewhere down there and just post a screenshot. We have a questions help desk and everything and more guides and stuff. So if you need me to help you point you in the right direction, um, I'm happy to do that. Just send me a screenshot and then we'll go from there. Otherwise, these are what I use and feel free to copy it. Just keep in mind that uh, every class may play differently. So if you are an evasion class, you might want to like adjust these accordingly. If you want more damage, do that. Or if you're only a PvE -er, you can adjust your things accordingly. But that's it. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and I will be making some other cool videos in the future. Peace.